What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of JB360. It's finally here. We have in our hands the Will Mason T1S electric moped. Uh, I, I kind of wanted to do this video as sort of like a sneak peek uh, for the scooter, well, the moped, uh, because I want to kind of do sort of like a full overview. But uh, I just finished putting this together and I uh, kind of wanted to do like a first impressions ride and uh, see how this handles. And uh, as you guys can see here, we just started getting snow right as I finish um, putting together the scooter. So this is the Will Mason Touring T1S. Uh, this is sort of like their base model. Uh, they have a total of about eight models with like different trims, different uh, features and you know, different sort of uh, packages as well. All right guys, so I'll bring you guys over here to the dash. Uh, <laughs> One of the things that you will notice, it has like this really cool like analog um, speedometer. Gives you sort of like the trip information uh, as well as sort of the, obviously the speed that you're going at. Uh, we have a time here. Uh, we also have the voltage meter. Uh, I believe this actually measures at about 67 or 68 uh, for full battery. Uh, mind you, this is a six, this is running a 60 volt system. Um, and it's also running a far driver controller. I had to confirm which model far driver it's using, but uh, the top speed that they listed at is about 45 miles an hour. So, which is not bad, especially for like cruising in the city and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so going back to the dash here, sorry, we actually have a front and rear view camera. So uh, right now there's no SD card in here, but uh, I will add an SD card just to sort of like record trips and stuff like that. But there is a camera here in the front, right over there. And uh, we also have a camera right here in the rear, right there. And uh, very, very convenient, especially if you're doing these like long trips. Or for instance, if you do get into some sort of like accident or something like that, you do have it recorded on here, which is very nice. A very cool added feature. Uh, we have here uh, a fan. <laughs> for the battery and the controller. Uh, it's actually a pretty loud fan, so I'm gonna click this on here. And uh, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the fan is located right there, and it's uh, currently running. It's great to keep your, your battery cool, especially for long trips and uh, rigorous riding. So I'll turn that one off for now. We have a throttle button, so in case you don't whiskey throttle, it will not go, even though the scooter is on. So once you have this flipped on, you'll be able to uh, accelerate. Uh, we have here three modes, uh, three speed mode switch. Um, I haven't tested out fully one and two, but three, obviously you'll get past that 40 mile an hour, 45 mile an hour mark. Uh, we have lights here, lights over there. And uh, we have the different modes too. We have high beam. Right now it's on low beam. So right now it's on low beam, high beam, low beam. Signals. And uh, you can't hear it now, but it actually has like a sort of like loud click, uh, which is a great indicator because you know, a lot of us, especially as PV riders, we have our signal on. Dude, I never, I never remember to turn it off. It's hard to notice unless you're like looking at it from the front, but I think that's pretty cool. We also have here LED lights. I believe this is uh, sound activated, so you know any pretty much uh, you know vibration or sound will activate the LED lights. I believe you can switch that off. I haven't figured that out yet, actually. <laughs> Just put it together today. Uh, we have our storage bins here. Uh, if you open up here, got a side storage bin. And then we also have one on the other side over here, right? And we have a rear st storage bin. Uh, I have the key here, which will open this. Look at that, that nice leather trim. Very cool, very cool. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, so the scooter actually has uh, a hydraulic lift, which I'm going to show you guys. It's a separate remote. 
but uh, from here you can actually activate it if you can kind of see it sort of lowering there it takes a little bit of time but it does go <laughs> Now check this out guys. Yeah, it's starting to balance itself out. This hydraulic uh, kickstand actually helped me put on the front wheel. Uh, it made it so much easier because this thing weighs like close to 200 pounds, it's pretty heavy. So uh, the hydraulic lift definitely uh, allowed me to put on the front wheel pretty easily. So looking over here, we actually have a 1500 watt QS motor. This actually has a custom QS swing arm over here, as you can see. Custom for the uh, specific dropout for the QS motors. We've got the VT suspension in the back. Signal lights on the left and the right here. We have a brake light right over there. Sorry again for the rain, guys. This was like the only time I could really do a little first impression on the scooter. So, uh, we got the fairing here, the cover. And this is also, I didn't mention it here before, but these are, this moped slash scooter is equipped with Brembo brakes on the front and the rear. Uh, as you can see here, we got the fish tank reservoirs on both left and the right side. And yeah, I mean, that's really all I can really talk about with the scooter. Uh, my next video, I'm gonna kind of do more of a in-depth uh, sort of like overview with it, but I just kind of wanted to take it on a ride uh, for the first time, especially in this like kind of crappy weather. But uh, yeah, guys, so let's uh, gear up and uh, take a little take a little ride out with the Will Mason and uh, give you my first impressions of it. All right, guys. Well, <sighs> finally got a chance to ride. Uh, the uh, T1 uh, weather's been kind of iffy lately so I'm glad we're able to finally uh, take it out for a spin but uh, yeah guys this is going to be a little bit of a first impressions video just to kind of see what we think about the, the bike uh, what we like what we don't like but uh, I gotta tell you this much the seat is super comfortable and uh, I actually don't have an SD card uh inside the front and rear camera right now but it's still kind of displaying you know uh kind of what's behind me what's in front of me obviously uh so but if you do want to record obviously you would need an sd card to insert into the camera but uh yeah so far so good so uh i actually had a i had an issue with the throttle um a few weeks ago when i first took this out for a spin and uh, it was okay. I mean, I think it had something to do with the uh, throttle voltage. And uh, also because it was raining pretty bad uh, the day that I did try it out. So I think some of the, uh, probably the throttle wire kind of got tripped up with that, but uh, I made sure once we did this video that we uh, had some clear weather and uh, no downpours or anything like that. So, but yeah, the throttle's nice. I actually, um, I went into the far driver's uh, setting and I, uh, I'm gonna pass this guy real quick. I went into the far driver's settings and I adjusted the uh, throttle voltage. Uh, it was at like 1.4. Uh, so I brought it down to like a 0.85 and I uh, changed the uh, throttle mode to eco and uh, just to, you know, not get any crazy spikes of voltage. So uh, I figured I'd just keep it on eco. The seat is cushy. The suspension is real cushy. Um, it does come with a QS, a custom QS swing arm, which is uh, really, really good. Let's see, actually, let's, uh, let's make a right here. Just in case uh, we get stranded, we're not too far from home. <laughs> yeah, the throttle is very smooth. Ooh. 
I love this little uh, analog odometer. It's really cool. I mean, it's something that you don't see, obviously, with today's e-bikes, but it's kind of like a nice little hybrid, uh, hybrid uh, odometer, you know, for uh, for the POVs. I mean, for the uh, for this little uh, moped slash scooter. And uh, when you do signal, it does actually give you an indicator here, uh, left, right, and uh, if it's quiet enough, you'll actually hear uh, an audible warning. It's kind of loud, but you can't hear it now because of the wind, but. Man, there's a lot of, there's a lot of seating room behind me. Oh yeah, man, this, the suspension is really, really good on this. Super comfortable. It's like being on like a uh, like a mattress with like big coils. You're just like I'm almost on like a like a soft trampoline or something like that. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if you guys saw when I had the bike on, uh, the LEDs are actually um, they're triggered by like sound, so they blink like every time there's like any kind of like vibration or sound. Uh, I do not know how to turn that off yet. <laughs> I got to talk to Paul about that, but uh, kind of a cool little, uh, cool little design feature. Brakes are really nice. These are the uh, Brembo brakes. These are like motorcycle grade brakes. Got the super thick rotors. And uh, I feel real comfortable about uh, braking when I need to. This thing is definitely an attention grabber. I have the, uh, obviously this is in like hot yellow, so <laughs> can't, can't miss this thing. Now, if you're wondering about the height of this, it's actually pretty low. Uh, definitely reminds me of like a Honda Ruckus uh, in terms of height, height wise. You know, I'm not used to wearing, uh, riding like mopeds and scooters and stuff like that. So, um, the height is definitely low for this size, this size, uh, scooter. One thing I will say, the mirrors that, that this comes with, uh, I'm not really a fan of. It's kind of, uh, like flimsy, but you can always change these for like any aftermarket, like motorcycle mirrors. But yeah, it's really nice, man. Like look at the leaning here. It's like super smooth. I don't know what the width of the tires are, but um, it does make for a very comfortable, uh, a very comfortable uh, ride. Let's see if I can fit through most of these. I think I can. Oh yeah, I have enough room. Look at that. That's pretty nice, actually. So the top speed of the uh, T1S is actually 45 miles an hour. Let's see what kind of top speed we get. Once we get some like open road, uh, I'll be able to test it out. I'm going up a slight hill here. It uh, handles it with no no issues at all. Also, which is nice, what I what I do like about the the T1S is you have the option to actually um, use these like foot pads here, uh, which are actually a pretty nice size to kind of like rest your feet on. Or you can actually use the uh, the middle pad here if you want if you want to uh, ride it like moped style. Um, I for me I'm like 5'10", like my knee is like literally right up to here. You know, <laughs> so uh, I do prefer these uh, foot pads here. They're just more uh, posture-wise, uh, make more sense for me. <laughs> All right, see if we can open it up up a bit.
somewhere in the 40s maybe according to the odometer oh yeah throttle feels nice I'm not getting any uh, any cutoff with the throttle, which is which is really good. Which leads me to believe that it could have been some kind of uh, moisture with the uh, the throttle wire. Wow, that's like a real car horn. You guys hear that? <laughs> oh, I tell you what. If the odometer is right, it hits 40 pretty fast. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that. That horn is legit, man. <laughs> You guys hear that sound? Yeah, you can only hear the signal sound when it's, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, quiet. <laughs> but, oh yeah. Check it out, guys. The T1S. Yeah, man, it's super comfortable. I mean, I've just been riding it for what, maybe like 15, 20 minutes so far, but it is a very enjoyable ride. It is, one word to describe it is, is just smooth. You know, I think if you're like in some sort of like urban, you know, si you know, environment or if you're, you know, a city, city rider, this is like perfect. And then especially if you're doing some kind of like DoorDash or delivery food service kind of thing, you have all these, um, uh, whatchamacallit, these uh, side bins and storage bins that you can actually use to like hold your food and, and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, a lot of mounting points for other stuff as well. I do especially like the uh, fan feature here. You know, when you do enable it, I don't know if you guys can see, but the fan over there just starts to spin. And uh, it's basically just like kind of cooling the battery and the controller at the same time. Uh, and it's actually very easy to get to the controller, which is located under the seat here. Battery is under the uh, footrest over here. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's super, super cool, man. Like this is honestly my first, my first real experience with an electric moped. Uh, I've ridden the gas mopeds in Miami before, but like, this is like a total, like totally different experience. <laughs> Less noisy, obviously. Um, but yeah, besides that, you know, you have the uh, heaters for both the uh, seat and the throttle. Um, and you can enable those by clicking that and by enabling those and the throttles actually the throttle and the seat actually do heat up but uh i don't need that at this moment and i'm trying to conserve battery so i can get home <laughs> but uh yeah guys this is uh definitely a really really uh enjoyable ride so far and if i didn't mention before uh it does have the reverse feature so um when you guys do the reverse feature you have to hold it down, hold this uh, button down here. And as you're holding it down, you want to throttle and you will reverse in place, just like that. Very, very cool, cool feature. And uh, you can actually uh, adjust the reverse uh, speed in the far drive wrap if you wanted to. So uh, very, very nifty. I would not, you know, if you do the reverse feature, I wouldn't put it at a high speed, of course, because that would just be real sketchy. So apparently this is like an NFC like uh, wireless phone charger. So when you do put it on here, it does charge if your phone has that feature. All right guys, so I was able to get the phone on here. Uh, as you can see, it's actually charging. It has a charging symbol on my phone right there. And uh, yeah, let's see how fast this thing goes. Top speed. Ah. All right, 
right, let's try it over here, guys. Our usual uh, top speed spot. Ooh. 41 okay a little bit better Two at least. Ah, oh. we are stun locked at forty one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Either way, um, the fact that this does, whoo, <laughs> the fact that this does use a far driver, you can always upgrade it. Um, it is actually, uh, it's currently using the, uh, whoa, got some air there. Uh, I'm currently using the uh, 240 phase amp model of the far driver. So if you wanted to, you could even swap to like, um, you know, a 300 or a 360 if you wanted to, just to kind of pump out more, uh, more acceleration and uh, peak performance, you know, from the motor. This is like a 2000 watt rated motor, I think, if I'm not mistaken. It's like 1500 watts, you know, and it could uh, pump out like 2000 watts. But uh, I'm sure, you know, with uh, a bigger controller, you could probably get more out of it, you know. <laughs> I actually went back home to uh, to <laughs> get a new jacket. I was uh, a little, a little nippy, a little cold. But uh, yeah, man, I'm starting to really like the scooter. I would say the, um, probably my only, my only other comment with the scooter would probably be the battery. Um, I don't know if I mentioned before, but uh, Paul had sent me the scooter, but with the uh, wrong battery that they meant to send. Um, it's a 60 volt, 40 amp hour battery, but um, the BMS is kind of low. Um, I think it's running like under 100 amps continuous, so it's not not really powerful. Uh, you're not gonna get mo you're not gonna get too much out of it, you know, other than range. Oh yeah. This thing is solid though, man. I mean, in terms of like pickup speed, like I, I adjusted the um, the ratios, like I mentioned before, but man, this thing is just like, it's nice, man. Once it catches up to speed, once it gets past that like 30 mile an hour mark, it's, uh, it keeps up with traffic very, very well.
snow cleared out, the rain cleared out. Not too bad. All right, guys. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention about the T1S is it comes with an onboard charger. That is freaking awesome. Look at this. <laughs> it actually extends. Um, if you're ever in a pinch and you do need your charger, it's it's there for you. You don't gotta you know carry it along or anything like that. It's great. I think it's like the uh, 60 volt 5 amp charger. But yeah, man, this thing is awesome. I still don't know how to turn off the leds i gotta talk to paul about that but i did try out the um heater for the throttle and man both both uh handlebars actually get um hot not too hot just like just enough to kind of keep your hands warm which is great um you know if you see yourself riding you know even throughout the winter uh this is like the perfect vehicle for that and if you even wanted to swap out these tires for like you know all terrain or anything like that you could do so and uh you know do your deliveries do your commutes uh in the snow as well <laughs> they actually sent me um i gotta fix this actually but they sent the uh which i'm gonna call it fender for this it's like an off-brand fender but it kind of just screws right onto the swing arm over here the only thing i'm not liking is everything's screwed in everything's tight the only thing is that this keeps moving a little bit whenever you hit a bump so it's like sliding against the tire but other than that um this thing is awesome i mean look at all the storage capacity you have i have tools in there uh you know you have a case over here and then even more storage over here like it's it's insane man this thing is like an all utility type of pv and you know, if you're the type that, you know, has an RV or does a lot of, like, beach cruising, like, in, in any of those, like, kind of, like, beach towns, um, this is a perfect vehicle for that. I mean, just to kind of cruise around and just kind of, like, be by the beach or if you're taking, like, your surfboard or something like that or your fishing poles, like, this is the, this is definitely the uh, type of transportation uh, that you would benefit from. And it doesn't use any gas as well. No loud noises, no gasoline and stuff like that. It's awesome. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, that's my first impressions of the Will Mason T1S. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but Will Mason actually has about eight models to choose from, each with like a different power level and like a set of features. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Yay or nay, if you guys uh, would consider yourselves actually buying one of these i mean i could see i could see i could see this type of pv for a number of uses especially in new york city so i mean this is like the perfect perfect all-around commuter um of course you you know i wouldn't see myself kind of like riding this on the highway or anything like that i'd probably consider the uh higher tier models but i mean you know going 40 plus miles an hour in new york city that's really all you need especially in manhattan um, one of the other, other things that I forgot to mention is Will Mason uh, ships these with VIN numbers attached. So you can actually register these as a moped. Um, you know, for this kind of like lower powered uh, model, I could probably register as this, this as a class two, uh, which doesn't require a M1 license, um, but does require a regular driver's license. Uh, please refer to your, <laughs> your states for their different rules and regulations. But um, yeah, it wouldn't be a problem for me to register it. I'll get a plate and everything like that, get insurance and that's really it. But uh, yeah, guys, let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. Um, been waiting for this for a while. It's finally here. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple more videos with this, the T1S and uh, maybe even have some of my friends try it. But anyways, guys, hope y'all like the content for today. And uh, yeah, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.